Hi, good morning everyone. This is Dr. Krishbu and I extend very warm gratitude and welcome to all my viewers for showering their immense love and support. Okay, so if you have reached this video, I assume that you are someone who is thinking of moving to UAE as a medical professional and you are brainstorming or wondering about different facets of this different licensing examination body. Correct. So do not worry at all because I am here to solve all your queries one by one. So the topic for today's discussion is about the validity of this licensing examinations once you cleared that. Okay, so the first thing first, let's discuss about what exactly this word validity means. So it means the allowable time or the allowed time by that specific exam body to convert your registration into active license so you are ready to practice or you are good to go in that specific amenity. You'll get to know more about it when we'll discuss this examination body one by one. So basically, it's the time duration in which you need to complete your job search in a nutshell. Let's just start our discussion with DHA. And now you are well aware that DHA is for Dubai, that is Dubai Health Authority examination. So the validity of this examination is of one year. So say for example, you have cleared the examination with flying colors. I mean there will be no flying colors because the results are only given in pass or fail status. Anyways, so you have cleared the exam, you have uh, completed the credential process and now you are the eligibility letter holder. You are having a specific registration number in your hand. So from this point, you are having the time duration of one year to convert this registration into licensing and for that you need to produce a valid offer letter. Actually you do not need to because whatever medical facility will be giving you offer letter, offer letter they will be producing the same on the DHA Shadian portal and uh, your registration will be converted into active license. So the validity of DHA examination is of one year. Okay, so we complete the Dubai part. Now let's just move to the second examination that is US and that's for the Abu Dhabi. Okay. Here, this is something of concern because if they are providing very little time duration for job search and that is of three months only. So uh, in my case what happened, I cleared the examination and I got the official mail that you have passed and I was on cloud nine and in a day or two I got the another mail saying that now you have 90 days of time duration in which you need to pop up with the offer letter otherwise your exam will be nullified. So this is something that really terrified me but anyway uh, it says that the time duration allowed for the job search or the validity of DUH examination is of 90 days or 3 months but in special cases uh, you can write to DUH for the extension of this time period and they may give you the extension of further 3 months so you might have this total 6 months of duration in hand. I think the reason is, uh, the prime reason in my knowledge is the saturation in medical uh, market here. So sometimes uh, analyzing the current situation or the current market, they might give you the extension. And uh, because of this point only, the validity given for the third examination that is Minister of Health or MOH licensing examination is of five long years. So now you have ample time to convert your registration or to get the job so that you can have an active license in hand. So as you are well aware about the fact that MOH, MOH exam is for other five Emirates where the number of job opportunities are comparatively lesser so they are allowing you the more time duration to complete your licensing procedure so yeah if this was the overview and if you haven't got haven't got the job in this specific time duration you need to redo the procedure of application so this was all for today's video thank you for watching and if you have any query in regard to the same kindly let me know in the comment thank you so much